What's going on guys, today we have a new keyboard. I haven't done one of these in a while. This is the MK61 High Performance Keyboard, 60%. Gatoron yellow switches. We're gonna check it out in this video. So this does have 2.4 gigahertz with the dongle and you can do wired RGB, obviously. This has a really nice design on it. So we're gonna go check it out. So right here you have the user manual. On the bottom, you do have your USB type C to USB A charging and your wired cable if you need to use it. Really nice as well as your keycap puller. This does not have a switch puller since it is not hot swappable. You would have to know how to solder. So that's that. Let's take it out. So here's the keyboard. Cracking bread. Here's the real keyboard. This thing looks sick. It is amazing. Just the design and everything else like that. It looks really good. It's unique. Not too sure if it represents anything, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what this means or represents because I have no clue, but I'm really interested in the backstory on it. Let's check out the factory lube switches with no mouse pad. All right, let's add a mouse pad. All right, so now this is a sound test with the mouse pad, factory lubed. So let me know when you think about the sound quality. I personally think it looks sounds all right. Definitely needs to be lubed more. Some of the, you know, the bigger keys right here, like the shift, tab, lock, whatever that, enter. Those are either less lubed or unlubed. This shift is a little more lubed than this one. So I'm just drag racing outside my bed. And uh, it does have some indentations right here to figure out where the F is, the J is. So that's nice. It's like an actual, like a, like a raised feeling. Space bar. It feels, it feels good. Let's go ahead and check them out. These are Gatoron yellows, like I said. So they're already one of the best switches. So these are stabilizers. It looks like they are, they are lubed, but not a whole bunch. I see some globs of lube. Definitely the stabilizers are a little lubed. On the left side, it's less lubed than the right side. The, uh, key, the switch itself sounds pretty good. And I'll show you what that sounds like. So yeah, that's what that switch sounds like just on its own. Sounds fairly good. The keycaps on these are uh, PBT, just the uh, designs on this. It's like a matte finish and it feels really nice. Nice, nice soft white. And it's like a cream right here. And then you have like a bright red. So it's really good contrasting colors with the white and red. On the back of the keyboard, it feels really good. Like it's, it's a little raised and a little etched in. Like you can feel all these right here. Feels really good. You have rubber pads on the back as well, on and off switch on top. I have magnetic holder right here for the dongle. Kind of hard to get out, but yeah, this is the dongle here. So you will never lose it, hopefully. And like I said, it is magnetic, so you could just drop it in. And uh, yeah, let's go and turn it off for the first time. Pretty cool animation when it boots up. The LEDs look really good, diffusion. Looks really nice. It's not super, super bright, but it's not super, super dim. It's just a backlit RGB, not a see-through. Uh, but the FN is moved over. So usually on 60%, it's where the control is. So you have that. And there we go. So as you can see, every 60 seconds, it'll automatically shut off to save battery. It says the battery should last about 10 hours on end. This does have a, takes about six to eight hours to charge, it says, which is fairly good since it has a pretty good capacity for the battery itself. I just, I really like this design. It, like it cuts in, as you can see, cuts in the image and it just a nice flow. So yeah, all around the keyboard, as you can see, that's where the USB type C is.
All right, so we have the keyboard right here. We're gonna go and check it out. So I don't really game on this, but you can game on it if you choose to do so. It's really, really, you know, very, very quiet switches, especially when they're lube, and this is the sound test. No, that, that's what it sounds like when it has the foam. I didn't do any of the stabilizers or anything else like that, but if you wanna see a future video on that, stay tuned like the video and I will definitely be able to mod this even further. You do see some LEDs through the casing. Personally, I think it's a bonus, it looks cooler. Oh shoot. Where's period? Oh, I'm pressing D. Somehow I got first place, even though that was just for bots, but I mean, 37 words per minute, not bad for the first attempt. comp game oh my gosh 50 words per minute it was slightly faster i got fifth place that was a more accurate thing this guy got 65 words per minute beat it in 22 seconds that's crazy but i mean we tried this one has a really good space bar which i wish i had on this keyboard but this is space bar there's a lot of rattle in it this space bar is super clean just stock i did not even mod any of this no lube no nothing that sounds clean this one not so much but the keys on this one is actually like like docky it's actually a dock super good keyboard i love this one a lot i've done a lot of keyboard reviews but this one by far dock and the design and everything you're getting for really good value for your money for sure i'm personally i've been using it daily i haven't even switched usually i always switch back to this keyboard so we'll see how long i can still be using this one because this one's very satisfying to use and type on the only downside is that fn function and i still am not used to it i'm used to just pressing it on the corner right here and then you know changing the color turning on and off or doing a shortcut. You have these little modes here. So this one's a little fade RGB. This is a sideways RGB. This is a spin RGB. Right here you have a little bounce effect. Same thing here. Sort of a key press. Same thing here. This one looks cool. And then this is just a little snake chase, I guess you could say. Random, random. I'm pretty sure you could change the colors as well. I think they have a software but I could be wrong about that. All right, so I'll throw a little paper, I'll throw a little manual up to the left on what all the key binds are, but you have FN to adjust all the modes in this one, forward slash. FN backslash for change modes. Increase brightness is the brackets right, and then decreases to the left. It will flash when it's at brightest. Decrease speed and increase speed. Decrease speed is the, this one right here. Increase speed is the opposite, as you can see. So we can slow it down here, or we can speed it up. Adjust lighting colors is the arrow to the left, which is right here. So you can change the colors right here with the two little arrows. So you got all those colors. You, I think it's nine total colors. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which is back to normal. And then it looks like the, the right one changes the direction of how they go. So if you have a mode like, let's see, here. if you have a mode like this, you change the direction of it. So now it's going inwards as opposed to outwards. Now it's going outwards. Yeah, you can change the direction like that. And then same thing like this it goes fade up. Now it's fading down. <coughs> and then from right to left, change it left to right. And this going counterclockwise. Now it's going clockwise. And then right here, it pretty much fades to the left. So if I press Fn and this, cut so this doesn't have a direction to change colors automatically and you have to go to this red mode here fn and the left one it has those colors here so solid colors i'm going to check it out with a white real quick because i think that'll look pretty cool 
The white is a little bit of a cream, not a real white, but it, uh, it does look good, so I'll give it that. Brightness is pretty good. It's pretty soft on the eyes. Same as the fade here. I think it looks pretty good. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys click the link down in the description down below. And I see, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.